Hi guys, it's Elizabeth from Happiness is Handmade, and today we're going to be making homemade peanut brittle, and we're using a recipe from the Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. Now the utensils we're going to need for this is two large baking sheets, a teaspoon and a half teaspoon, one cup and half cup dry measurement cup, cups, a candy thermometer, a large pan, a liquid measuring cup and a large and a long wooden spoon. So the ingredients we're going to need for this recipe is two cups of white sugar, one cup of light colored corn syrup, one fourth cup of butter, two and a half cups of raw peanuts, and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Now the first step is you need to cut your butter in half and you're going to want to put it on your baking sheet and you might want to use a gl rubber glove for this. When you're done buttering your pans, just set them aside so that they're ready when the peanut brittle is done. The next step is to also butter the sides and bottom of your pan. Okay, in your pan you're going to want to combine the sugar, the corn syrup, butter, and half a cup of water. You want to cook and stir that mixture over a medium-high heat until the mixture starts boiling. Okay, now that our mixture started boiling, we clipped our candy thermometer to the side of the pan and we reduced the heat to medium-low. It's going to continue boiling at a steady rate and we're going to keep stirring and until the thermometer gets to 275. And just a tip with your candy thermometer, um, when you put it in, it'd be best not to put it touching the bottom of the pan. If you do that, you may not get a accurate reading. Okay, and it's been about 30 minutes, and we have finally reached 275. So we are now going to add our peanuts. and we're going to stir this really good and it might be a little hard to stir at first but as it cooks it'll get a lot easier so we're just going to continue to stir it occasionally until the temperature reaches 295 okay now that we reach 295 we have our baking soda and we're going to put it in and we're going to stir it up And now that it's all stirred up, we're going to pour it onto our buttered pans. We're now going to use spoons to start pulling it out. In the pans, they get very extremely hot, so we use these mats underneath it to help protect the countertop. So now we're going to want to take our spoons and start stretching the brittle. Now that we've gotten it all stretched out on the pans, we're going to leave it sit until it completely hardens, and then we're going to break it up on the pan. Now that our peanut brittle has dried, we're going to go ahead and uh, crack it into pieces. Okay guys, that was how you make homemade peanut brittle. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.